you can wear this Dobok in all WT competitions. The black collar is reserved only for black belts in Taekwondo. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the WT approved black collar Taekwondo Dobok that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about some of its features, where and when you'd actually use and wear this gi, why you'd want to buy this gi over other brands, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in this Dobok in competition. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the WT approved black collar Taekwondo Doba. For those of you who train in Taekwondo, you should know that the black collar is reserved only for black belts in Taekwondo. If you're not a black belt, you would wear one with a white collar and obviously black belt and above would wear these. So yeah, this is for black belts only. So a really, really good quality gi as you'd expect once you've reached black belt level, you expect to be wearing a really good gi. Now the WT stands for World Taekwondo and that is an association of Taekwondo that, that has a lot of competitions around the world. There are other branches, so ITF and ITS and loads of other stuff, loads of branches and spin-offs, but World Taekwondo have kind of got the name within the Taekwondo world being like the main, the main Taekwondo style and known very much for doing a lot of kicking. So in in the Olympics, the Taekwondo you see is WT uh, uh, like Taekwondo. That's that's the one that you see a lot of and gets sort of I guess the most TV time. Now these Taekwondo Dobox are made by Tusa, which is one of the leading brands now in the WT world. So Tusa is really really well known brand. It's like world international Taekwondo brand now, and it, these key. These dough box are also made in Korea, which doesn't necessarily affect whether they're good and bad, but because it's a Taekwondo brand, it's really nice to have that, that kind of homeland made. So yeah, Tusa is a really good brand now, really well recognized, one of the leading brands in WT Taekwondo. Some of the features just based on this, now this gi is 80-20 polyester to cotton, so 80% polyester. Now this isn't that common for a lot of martial arts clothing, so most people tend to go more for the kind of uh, the cotton feel, the natural fibers, that's what a lot of people want. But people in Taekwondo, they haven't gone for that at all. Now, I think in the old days they used to be more, more cotton based, but they've moved over to the polyester. Now there's quite a few features like beneficial features of having so much polyester in your material. One, it doesn't shrink at all. So when you're washing it, obviously the little cotton mix, you might get a little bit of shrinkage, but compared to the old cotton geese, you won't get anywhere near as much shrinkage. So it will hardly shrink at all. So the size you buy is the size that it's gonna be for the, for the entirety of the life of, of this Dobok. The other feature, which is actually a really, really good feature, is that because of the way the material is made and designed, it wicks sweat away from your body, which means you can cool down. It's pulling the heat off your body. Now, these geese are really, really well ventilated. You've got the big V inside. You've got the split on the sides as well. So this really helps like get, get the sweat off your body and with the heat, it can evaporate out. So you stay really, really cool in these or at least as cool as you're able given, given the environment to be in. So yeah, you're not gonna overheat because of the dough box, just because of your, yourself and maybe the, the room that you're training in. But this dough box won't overheat you. So a really, really good feature to have, much more like modern day, like active wear, gym wear type setup rather than the old school martial, art, martial arts clothing. So yeah, fairly technologically modern, Gi, which is which is where Taekwondo wants wants to be heading in, rather than sort of sticking to traditional roots. So, what does this World Taekwondo badge mean? What does this mean? Well, it means a few things. One, it means you can wear this Dobok in all WT competitions. So, 
whether it's British, European, World Championships, this gear is approved for all of those. So any World Taekwondo competition, you can wear this gear. So really good to have that approval and obviously in, in clubs as well. Now, if you do one of the other styles like ITF, ITS, it wouldn't be recommended to wear this gear. It'll probably get frowned upon. They certainly won't let you wear it in competitions. It's purely reserved for WT competitions pointing out some of the other features on these like the trousers are elasticated with a drawstring now in martial arts we tend to wear our trousers really high right over our hip stop them falling off so you can get these nice and tight around your hips and then tighten them up with the drawstring so no chance of them falling off now as with all good martial arts trousers you also get this extra gusset sewn in to inside the trousers so you can do all those six got kicks and head kicks and all the rest of it without being restricted by the trousers and not ripping them in half. So yeah, you get this on most martial arts trousers, but yeah, there's extra material for these so you can get that full six o'clock kick. Another feature that I really like on these dough box, and you do tend to get it on the really good quality like karate geese and judo geese as well, is the rows of stitching. So on the trousers where it can wear out, you get six rows of stitching, so really, really well reinforced trouser legs. You also get it on, on the dough bot top as well, six rows of stitching on, on the sleeve. So really nice reinforced bits where they can wear out, but with that much stitching, it's very unlikely that's gonna wear out. Now if you are a black belt in Taekwondo, by now you should know the size of your gi, so it shouldn't be any problem buying a new size. But you know, if for some unknown reason you haven't got a clue how the sizing works, these geese are sized slightly different to most martial art geese, but ignore the number at the front, you just want the number in back. So this one, 160 centimeters, is based on someone 160 centimeters high. But like I said, if you don't know this by now, at Enzo Martial Arts, we have quite a wide range of Taekwondo kit, especially the WT Taekwondo, approved Taekwondo kit. So as well as these black collar, Taekwondo dough box. We also have the white collar Taekwondo dough box. We have the WT approved shin pads and foot pads, groin guards and forearm guards. We have the WT approved hand pads and head guards. And to fill it all up in case your kit bag wasn't packed enough, we also have the chest guards in blue and red. Now all that kit will get you perfectly set up for competition so you don't need to get anything else Oh, apart from the gumshoe. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training in the WT approved Taekwondo Dome. Thanks very much, thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the WT approved black collar dough box that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.